Meantime, I do want to get you caught up on what's happening with Spectrum. I know you've seen our story on WKTV.com. I want to give you the details now. Fulfill your promises or pay the price. That's the message from New York's Attorney General after a $174 million settlement is reached with Spectrum for failing to deliver promised internet speeds, being too aggressive with marketing, and giving out modems and routers that didn't work. Of that $174 million, $62.5 million will be used for customer refunds. More than 700,000 subscribers will receive between $75 and $150. More than 2.2 million subscribers will get streaming and premium channels. If you're an internet and cable subscriber, you will have your choice of HBO for three months or Showtime for six months. And if you're just an internet subscriber, you'll get a month of Spectrum streaming, which means access to broadcast TV and 10 paid channels, plus Showtime for a month. Spectrum will notify you if you're eligible for the refunds and you would get the money in the next 120 days. Same goes for the services. Just months ago, the Public Service Commission said Spectrum was not meeting conditions agreed to in 2016. Assemblyman and Congressman-elect Anthony Brindisi says it's time to kick Spectrum out of New York. Brindisi says the rate hike New Yorkers got in November is unacceptable, and he's calling on the Public Service Commission to put its foot down. So today I'm asking the Public Service Commission to make February 11th the absolute final deadline for Charter Spectrum to present its plan to give customers the service they deserve, or it's time to show them the exit door here in New York State. He says he's written a letter to the PSC telling them no more extension. So we told you about this part of the story over the summer. The 2017 lawsuit is what the settlement is all about.